Hi guys, welcome back to another EP episode. EP episode? Yes, extended play, why not? Since we have the small one minute SP single play videos, these are gonna be in this little corner, standing up an EP type of video and clearly all the classic ones that I've been doing through these years are gonna be the LP videos, the long play videos, okay? So, in this episode, we're trying to understand a little bit better an issue, a problem. What is the problem? Well, a few years ago, yes, maybe, maybe a year and a half, something like that, I did a video, which I'm very proud of, on special speaker cables made by SKW. Here is a link. You're also going to find it in the video description. Now, these... Uh, speaker cables, in my opinion, have a very high quality type of sonics. Uh, I, every, every once in a while I put them back in my set, even though they are very, very cheap. The manufacturer declares that they are made by OCC Copper. And as I have said in several comments, I tend to believe that. My ears say yes. I mean, not only the the external quality is very high quality the cables you can just sense it immediately the different materials the built everything but clearly i can't look inside and testing it with my equipment i think that the sonics were outstanding especially for the price i mean incredible at that point if you consider the price in that video in the, in the video description of that video you're going to find all the details and links if you want but that's not the case. The case is that all during this time, I have been continuously having comments, laughing, making fun of me, saying, <laughs> enjoy your fake OCC cables, you idiot. It's all fake. It's all Chinese crap. Well, after having so many negative feedback and people who are just talking out of their mouth with absolutely no idea and no uh, info in their hands, I finally decided to do this, actually, because in the end it's true. There is no certification, like, for example, Neotech has. But that's a different story. I mean, uh, when Furukawa closed, the main manufacturer of OCC Copper, uh, seven, eight years ago, something like that, I mean, there wasn't any more just them doing it. And it was, it, you just don't need to use the OCC Ono Continuous Cast name. Some do, because it's just an acronym, OCC, which doesn't mean that much. If you can't use, I think, there's a patent on the name of Professor Ono, which Neotech does have, but that doesn't matter. You just need to do this process. I also did a specific video on OCC Copper. Here is a link, once again, also present in the video description, where I go through all the different aspects, elements, the making process, which isn't rock sides, you guys. I mean, it was when it was invented, but now it's, it's pretty easy, even though it is a manufacturing process, which does have a cost, and it's very high purity copper. But apart from this, I contacted SKW, which, is, as you can imagine, it's a nightmare because SKW is a division of Far Reach um, Electronics. And uh, in any case, their company is, as we're going to see in a while, connected with other huge metal processing companies and other brands. I mean, it's very complex and I don't have clearly a precise idea. Nevertheless, after assisting a little bit, I did have to insist Finally, I was contacted by the tech service by SKW, who very kindly sent me a lot of documents, test reports, information, which give us more info, in fact, on this issue, which we will reach the final conclusion at the end of this video. Okay, so the first thing we have, for example, obviously, Mr. Taylor, who contacted me, said ah, most of our stuff is in Chinese. I do have some things in, in English. I will try to send that to you. But clearly, there isn't that much documentation. And he also invited all subscribers to contact directly them. I will put the email here below. So if you want to do your own 
investigation your own contact you are invited to do so okay so the first document oh all these documents i'm going to show you you're going to find them here for download in the video description he sent me this now i'm just going to show you very briefly on uh, on camera but once again you're going to find them called image one which is the uh we could say the report from the supplier who is selling the copper to them to far reach and skw and whoever is handling this stuff but clearly this is something that is stated by who is selling copper to skw and in fact they're obviously not gonna stop there they have to do their own testing in any case already here it says as you will see in the document number one that it's six ends of purity okay first document let's proceed then what do we have document number two cpst consumer product testing service all these um, institutions that i'm listing you can find them i found them online very high tech very pro they do testing all over the world these companies it's not just some some hillbilly around in china okay so uh, and this report is a 2022 report for the bg01 and the bg50 which are other cables not the ones uh, i reviewed the ones i reviewed are called bg505 but apart from that clearly they have also other cables who have uh, occ copper now here he explained taylor he wanted to send me this because this is something new it's the a 2022 while for example the supplier i showed you before was 2016 he doesn't have very recent stuff it depends they change constantly it's not that easy to find the stuff clearly but he was very nice i mean very few companies would do this and this report is a 2022 but unfortunately he had to cancel the name on the top because he, he explained me that far reach uh, collaborates with many other businesses and clearly he can't show um, the main we could say organization because there are other clients connected to this in other in, and, and also the report itself is not present just the, the 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 main first page because he said there were some mistakes in any case i just wanted to show you something a little more new we could say from that point of view and here it is as you can see you will also see it once again in the in the video description where it says that uh, what cables were being tested so this is a, a final phase i think because they're testing the cables themselves uh, uh, from what i understood but in any case it's documentation recent documentation that they are sending out these samples for extra testing a lot of testing actually this was document number two then then we have another important test maybe the most important i would say the cti center testing international a report from 2016 showing clearly there's a lot of analysis this is the complete report showing there are no impurities in the sample the copper sample they sent which which means it's completely pure it's uh, six nines of purity in any case they don't say it's six nines they just say perfect no impurity uh, detected and also this is going to be found number three report number three in the video description and you're going to see clearly a, a few things are, are in chinese but you're going to find a lot of detail and in fact here it doesn't say skw in this report by cti it says lanzu jinwan technology park which i went to look online what is this and maybe this is at a higher level i'm not sure because they this the, mm, this huge <laughs> company deals with manufacturing metals at different types on different levels nevertheless as you can see high purity copper uh, and these are all the i mean there's a full documentation and all the signs and stamps it's it's amazing so once again here uh, another part piece of evidence of all the amazing tests they're going through in order in order to put out this stuff because as you will see it is ross compliant eu compliant and i'm sure also other us compliance i don't know that because i don't buy them i live in italy i mean in the EU, eu as you know okay then finally he also sent me another test by sgs this is a little 
later, a two, uh, earlier, 2011 report, he, he wasn't even sure they're still collaborating with this test report, with this uh, institution. Never, never, nevertheless, he, he sent me this to give us some further, further proof of this international testing lab. And here, once again, I think you can see it. You're going to find document number four. And here we have all uh, the report, which in the end declares the purity of the sample sent. Now, someone would say, well, yeah, maybe maybe they just filled in some paper with, with numbers and signatures, and uh, maybe this is done for something else. But SKW does appear here and there. I've seen that other companies mentioned here are connected to Far Reach. I mean, the, the organization is huge, as you can imagine. But nevertheless, this was provided me after just one or two days when I wrote to them. I mean, you're not going to fake something like this, clearly. So in the end, for the final question, are the SKW cables made out of OCC copper? The answer is absolutely yes. They are six nines and you're going to obtain six nines only with OCC procedures. Okay, guys, I hope now you finally believe me. If you don't, who cares in the sense, what I mean is just use your ears because those cables, as I did, were extremely good. No need of all of this. But nevertheless, we don't, we have to cease to have this bias towards China because there are a lot of serious companies who do a great job. And SKW, I think, is one of them. In fact, if you go online and you see here and there, they're very present. It's, just, it's not just a little page on Alibaba or AliExpress. They're a big company and they want to do high quality products. At least that is my impression from all of this. Thank you again for watching. And remember that music is born analog. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.